how to start a business, how to start a business with Rodney. speech there. That was a good one. So I'm going to switch this a little bit and try to take a couple polls of the room. How many of you, by a show of hands, have ever wanted to start a business? Okay. And then how many of you, keep your hand raised, if you have started a business? Fantastic. So now the people in this room that have wanted to start a business but you haven't started a business, Shout out to me. Give me some reasons why. What, what are the reasons why it's a little bit harder to start a business than just doing it? Risk. Risk. That's great. Money. Money. All right. <laughs> what Hard else? Work. Hard work. <laughs> Fear. Yeah. Fear. All right. One of, the, one, of the, one of the things that I hear most amongst friends and acquaintances is always an idea. Right? I have so many friends where I go up to them and I say, look, you need to start a business. You understand the logistics. You're not worried about the fear. You have access to capital. And they always say, if I have an idea, I would do it. But I don't have an idea. And for those of you that have started a business, that is hands down the easiest part. An idea is simple. It's very, very, very easy to come up with an idea. So if you think it's difficult, my whole goal is by the end of this speech, to get you to actually realize how easy it is to think of an idea to start a business. So there's two things that I do, and I'll share with you, that allows us to come up with ideas a lot more easily. The first one is a bug list. And a bug list isn't, uh, isn't insects or anything along those lines. It's a list of things that actually bug you, that annoy you. And the whole goal with this is to, on a day-to-day -day basis, make a note on your phone, on a piece of paper, a notebook that you may carry around, of things that bug you. It can be absolutely anything. The formation of these tables bug me. The fact that there's a little gap in between these tables and they're not level, that bugs me. All right, and the whole goal is to write down every single thing that bugs you on a day-to-day -day basis. Most of these are gonna be complete BS. I am not going to think of a business that's gonna solve the problem of this table being a millimeter lower than the other one. And it doesn't matter. That's not a real problem. But the whole goal is to train this part of your brain to spot out problems day after day after day. And then once you have a good number of these bugs listed out, once you have your brain trained, right? If you're, if you're going to the gym, you don't expect to build muscle right away. You need to work out day after day after day. Specify certain muscles and over time, you will gain you know, the, the tone, the size, whatever you're actually looking for. So it's the exact same uh, process with this part of your brain. Start spotting these out, unfiltered, that's the key here, unfiltered. What we usually do is we see a problem and the first thing we say is, oh, well, we can't build a business on that and we dismiss it. That's doing nothing for you. You wanna have this unfiltered and then at the end of the month, you can go ahead and analyze those bugs. 90% of them will be complete crap. That's fine. 9% of them will be pretty decent problems. And then 1% of those ideas are actually going to be problems that you can solve and problems that people face every day. I, uh, I'm going to share a couple of mine with you just so you can know sometimes how ridiculous they actually are. All right. So I just always start off when, when I think of these at the end of the month, uh, starting off by saying this bugs me. So it bugs me when you sit down on a couch and you sink into it. It bugs me when people can't develop emotional intelligence. It bugs me that I can't text message money. I have to, I have to use Venmo or something like that. Hangovers bug me. Having to find out who I'm connected to in order to find the right person in a company bugs me. Scheduling meetings bugs me. Remembering to take my vitamins bugs me. Razor burn bugs me, dirty glasses bug me, dirty clothes bug me, dirty streets bug me, having to use multiple keys, swearing, not being able to swear around kids, that bugs the shit out of me. That one, is, <laughs> that's really, really annoying. And so, as you can tell, some of these are complete nonsense. You're not going to be able to build a business around not being able to swear around kids. But the first one that I said there, which was sinking into couches, I actually thought that that was a nonsense idea. And I ended up looking it up, and there is a product on the market that in the past year has sold over 7 million units 
that stops you from sinking into catches. <laughs> so there's, there's just these thought processes that you think may be incorrect, and I would have, if I was filtering that, I would have eliminated that thought right away, that, that bug. So keep those in mind, filter them at the end of the month, and you will find some idea. Just to give you an idea of the scalability of, of creating a bug list, <coughs> on my computer I have 22,000 bugs. If you cannot find a business idea out of 22,000 problems, something is wrong with you. It's not wrong with the process itself because there's plenty of material there. The other side of the equation, the, the second thing that I can leave you with in order to come up with an idea to start a business is trying new things. I don't say this in some type of Silicon Valley, woo woo, let's all try new things way. I mean it in a very pragmatic sense. We, on a day-to-day -day basis, get wrapped up in doing the same stuff over and over. And we know how to do it, and we're good at it, and we know what to do. More importantly, we know what not to do. When you step out of that comfort zone and you actually start doing things that you don't know um, what, what they are on a day-to-day -day basis, that's when it becomes powerful. For instance, I went rock climbing the other day for the first time in 10 years. I put on my harness, and the first thing my buddy says is, is, is your harness on correctly? And my thought process was, what do you mean is my harness on correctly? This is my lifeline. If you fall from 60 feet, you're probably going to die. If not, you're going to be seriously injured. And the fact that we have harnesses that are supporting us that do not have a clear catch-all of whether this is on correctly or not is mind-boggling. And then he said, when, when we started to climb, he's like, now remember, you want to map out the route. And you want to know exactly where you're going to go before you go. This is as much of a puzzle as it is physically demanding. And my next thought process was, I'm a beginner. Why do I have to map that out? Why can't we have some process that allows that to map it out for me, that allows me to learn at an accelerated pace? Just a couple examples here of how when you step outside of your comfort zone, when you go to a new setting, you are able to actively spot out problems that people that have been doing it day in and day out are not able to solve. Those have to be done in order. Let me just leave you with that. Don't go trying new things and trying to solve problems. Work out in the metaphorical gym of your mind and get that muscle tone. Make sure that you're able to spot problems very easily. And the challenge would be to leave you with is to create 100 bugs every month. If you're able to create 100 bugs every month, soon enough you will have your brain trained as to where you can spot them out very easily. And remember, a business, the only thing a business is, is solving a problem. You come up with a problem, you can find a solution. So I, I would leave you with that, encourage you to track 100 bugs, try new things, and before you know it, I think a few of you in this room will be off to starting a business. Mr. Toast, Mr. Toast.